Hey everybody, on week four on our art website, uh, down past the video that we saw, you have a day to learn how spot. In this spot here, we're gonna talk about this work in class, but I briefly wanted to share with people who missed the lesson, especially, or I wanted to hear it again, that if you kind of hand drew smoothly over these shapes that we have in these pictures, you would notice that the artist kind of exaggerated and flattened out and added shapes into what would normally have been a three-dimensional smooth uh, form. So when we go to draw and do our practice work today, if you wanted to use Google um, Chromebooks, Chrome Canvas, you can, but you can also use plain paper. I want you to draw a smooth, regular still life. I'm choosing still life because it's easiest to do this for the first time with objects instead of a landscape or a portrait where there's a lot more um, difficult shapes to try and change. So I want you to find some objects or draw a plate or a bowl with some fruits from the vase, something that has simple forms. And then you're going to use a dark line and you're going to start to chop it into these flat sections. So a straight line across your paper. Um, look at where there's curves and kind of make a shape there that's more flat. Add in a shape that chops up a section. And you're going to start chopping up your picture into these areas that have more corners and flat sides. So for instance, here I have a stem. I'm going to make it very straight. I could even change it into a rectangle. And I have a leaf. I'm going to make this a straight flat shape edge. I see that we have a curve here. I could keep the curve since I have a flat side here, but I could also exaggerate it. And make a sharp edge here and have that way I have contrast I have some curve but also it goes into a flat um, sharp cornered shape and make a triangle and a rectangle here I'm going to change this to have some flat sides flat uh, chopped up lines I'm going to chop up this section right here divide it up more. That was kind of wobbly, so I'm going to undo that and try and go more straight. It's hard with a mouse, so my tip with the mouse pad is to use one finger to hold the clicker button and the other finger to draw with. I'm using an actual mouse attached to my laptop. If you have an extra mouse, maybe you want to consider that if you're going to use this, but you're using a drawing paper and pencil and paper, you should be okay. I'm going to keep this line here and I'm going to add some shapes that cut into it from this apple and make it larger and more square like. And add a curve right here that has some sharp edges near next to it. This was not sharp enough, I think, for myself. By doing this, you're getting a similar style, trying to use line and shape in a unique, different way than you've used before. Now, we're doing practice first because the first few times that you do this, you might think that you kind of overdid it and changed too much, and you might want to take a step back on that. I'm going to add in a divide up on the wall here to kind of balance my picture because I have a lot going on the one side and not a lot on the other side. I'll see some gray lines around over here where I have not changed much, so I'm going to add to that. All right, and then this will help you practice and see those shapes better. You can take the eraser tool and erase 
some of those gray lines and see how you like it. For those who are a little tech savvy, you can work with layers. If you add a layer on top and then draw on that layer, the shapes, you could delete the layer underneath, easy. I'm not getting into that with you guys, but those who have used something like this before might want to experiment with that as a step up in your tech savviness. The eraser tool, where it does its job just fine though. So I'm going to play around with this some more in class. I'll see you guys later. Bye.